friends, Brief Earth here. Today I'm making another pull tab light up card, and I wanted to keep this video kind of short and sweet and do specifically the instruction on how to build a pull tab light up card. So I have three panels here. The front panel, the second one is the card base, and this third one is kind of the middle interactive panel. So the interactive panel and the front panel are basically identical. You need two panels to make the pull tag, pull tab mechanism and the light up mechanism work, as well as you need two pull tabs to make the moving mechanism and the pull, and the light up mechanism to work. It's all a little confusing, but I promise in the end this will all work out. And of course you need Chibitronic sticker lights and Chibitronic copper tape. So today I'm using the Super Team stamp set by Scrappy Boy Stamps with this wonderful little superhero guy and the interactive die set from Kindred Stamps to build the uh, moving lighting interactive component. So I already created the front panel and it's going to line up with the moving mechanism panel and I already used a pencil to draw out the circuit and where I want the light to go. So first we're just going to start by putting down some copper tape And I'm going to start at the hardest part of where to put the copper tape is in between this little cut that we created. It's kind of hard to wrap the tape around the other side without getting your fingers all over the tape. And you want to make sure that's in line with the circuit that you drew on the front. So now I'm just folding that around and this is part of our positive side circuit. So your circuit needs to have two kind of pathways, a positive pathway and a negative pathway. And for a pull tab mechanism to work, you need to have one circuit that is connecting to the light after the disconnect um, in the pull tab. So after this little kind of cut in where the pull tab is going to be located. So now I'm just coming around the back side and as you can see I already put foam tape onto the back side just to kind of keep it this video short and sweet. And it doesn't interfere with where I am putting down my uh, copper tape. Once again showing how a little of a struggle that I'm having up with uh, putting the copper tape on the back but uh, once you get past that the rest of the pathway for the positive is pretty smooth sailing. So I'm just running it along that uh, circuit that I drew with the pencil and I'm leaving a little excess copper tape so that we can put it over top the battery once we build the battery holder. So now we can continue with building the circuit by creating the negative pathway, which is a little bit easier. So I'm going to start on the opposite side of where the sticker light is going to be. And just following along once again on the pencil lines that I already drew. And once again, leaving a little bit of excess for the battery holder. And you want to leave the backing tape off that excess tape so it doesn't uh, attach to the positive circuit. And I'm just using a scoring tool right now to press the copper tape into my cardstock to get nice, secure attachment. So now we can go ahead and place our sticker light, and I'm using the green, which uh, the lights are indicated with a letter for the color, and it was G for green. And since we're only using one sticker light, this uh, circuit's pretty simple. So now we can move on to building the pull tab mechanism, and for that you need two pull tabs, 
I used the same die, but for the light tab, I just trimmed the the outer portions kind of at an angle and just to keep it kind of uh, slimmer and so that you can tell the difference between the two. And now I'm going to just put the copper tape onto the light up portion of the pull tab mechanism. I'm going to trim that off right there. And still a little bit's hanging off, so I'm going to use the scissors to trim that up just a little bit. I'm going to come back with my scoring tool and burnish that a little bit better into the cardstock. And now I'm grabbing some double-sided adhesive so that we can glue the other part of the pull tab on top of this section. And you really want to make sure you have a good connection with the copper tape here because those flaps are going to be folded, so you want the, to make sure that the copper tape is attached to those uh, scored areas. And now I'm putting a double-sided adhesive on the rest of the pull tab, so that the whole thing will be glued on to the bottom of the moving mechanism pull tab. And once you're finished, you kind of build this funky shape. And as you can see, the light up portion is folded down like that. So it looks like that when it's running through your, um, through that little cut in your card front. So now I'm going to stick them together. And you want to make sure that the, uh, the kind of areas that are going in between the little cut are lined up perfectly. You can trim the rest, but make sure that part is lined up perfectly. As you can see, mine was off a little bit on the top edge, so I'm just trimming that down. So I did make a little mistake here. Um, I wanted to insert the pull tab into that um, little slit first before I glued the middle panel onto the card, the backing panel, but it'll all work out eventually. But if you're building this, put uh, the, the pull tab into the slot before you glue down uh, your middle panel onto the back panel. And I'm making sure it's kind of all lined up within the outline that I traced with the pencil so that everything lines, so that the battery holder lines up with the, um, the circuit that we built. So now I'm going to zoom in just so you can see a little bit better, but I'm going to place the battery. And as you can see, there's a positive marking and then a backside. And so that positive marking needs to be touching our positive copper tape. And so the negative side has to go underneath the battery. So now I'm going to go ahead and place the negative side. And I'm pushing that down to make sure that's a secure connection. Cutting off the excess and then coming in with my scoring tool to burnish that a little bit better. And then I'm going to place the battery and then I'm going to run the positive copper tape over top of the battery and that opening. And it's going to be secured down by placing the positive tape on the other side as well. So our circuit's almost finished. We just have to uh, put the pull tab into the sliding area, but I used a fabric um, patch just to kind of tape down that corner edge that might stick up a little bit. But as you can see, after we insert the pull tab and you slide it over into that far corner area, the pull tab light up, lights up. So I went ahead and I sped this part of the video up a little bit and because I'm just putting down the foam tape and when you're putting foam tape down, 
you just have to avoid the light. Um, you can run foam tape over the over the copper tape, but you want to avoid the lights and the interactive moving element. So now I'm just gonna, I pulled the backing taper off and I'm just gonna put the card front onto the middle panel. And you want to make sure that the flaps are sticking through the, the slot area that we cut. And once those flaps are, are pulled through and the top is glued down, you're going to use those little circles to glue those flaps to the front. And I put some foam tape onto the back of my guy, and I'm going to place him down onto that circle exactly where I want him so that when he flies over, his uh, ring lights up where the light is located. Now I'm going to trim off the excess pull tab. And I'm going to glue on this little decorative piece for the pull tab so that the recipient knows uh, where to move, where to pull to make the lights work. Now you can see our mechanism works, but I noticed there's a little edge on the pull tab, so I'm going to go ahead and trim that off so now it's nice and even. And to finish the card, I'm going to add two more components to the card front. I'm going to add a sentiment strip and, a, and an action word that you normally see in comics. And I already heat embossed them onto black cardstock, so all I have to do is use some liquid adhesive to adhere these to the card front. If you'd like more details on the products that I used on this card, check out the blog post uh, linked in the description below. I love the sentiment that says, you saved the day. Perfect thank you card. So there you have it. There is our light up card, our pool tab light up card, featuring Chibi Tronics sticker lights and copper tape.